Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a full pedicure. I have finally gotten a professional chair and fans for pedicures, so I am fully equipped and ready. I am so excited to work with my client today because we are not only working on her toenails, but also on her heels. Today's pedicure is a full machine pedicure, so I'm starting off by removing the length with my nail drill. It's a super convenient and quick way to remove the length. Further, I am taking my drop bit with the blue notch and using it to clean up the cuticle area and the sidewalls. The toenails themselves have a lot of dried up skin, which has accumulated a lot of dirt. So as I clean up the dry skin, the toenails are already appearing a lot cleaner. I'm also paying special attention to the sidewalls and pushing the skin upward there so that it will be a lot easier later to remove with the ball bit. After I've passed through each toe on one side, I am turning my nail drill to reverse and passing through those areas once again. Further, I am taking a pair of nippers and forming the sides of her toenails. With a curette, I am removing the compressed dry skin from underneath. I've also shaped the toenail this way as to not have any corners or lifted areas. Usually the cuticle on toes is very gentle, so I will be using a ball bit with soft abrasion and also turning the RPMs down. After I've cleaned up her toenails and removed all of the dust, I'm getting ready to work on her heels. The problematic zone is this spot here. There is some calloused area on the edge. Uh, this is most likely from flip-flops. In this case, the calluses aren't very deep, but there are quite a lot of them. I've taken a disposable cap with 80 grit, and I'm getting straight to work on her heels. 
I will be using the coarse grit only on the calluses and other very rough areas. My client's left heel has even more calluses and cracks, so I will have to work on it a little bit more. After using a coarse grit, you will need to go through again with a softer grit and polish everything up so that after the pedicure, your client doesn't end up with any rough skin hanging off and this will also leave the pedicure softer for a longer period. Once the coarse skin has been softened a little, I am changing to that softer abrasion bit uh, that is 180 grit and polishing up the entire heel. My client's heel is already nice and smooth, so now I am moisturizing it and removing any dust. Some of the cracks are still lightly there, but we cannot fail this area anymore. The skin is really soft now, so if we overdo it, they could crack even further. Therefore, I'm continuing by using a scrub. Scrubs are an amazing way to complete a pedicure. They smooth down any rough areas, not only on the heels, but also between the toes and on top, leaving everything nice and smooth. I'm removing the scrub with a dry cloth and then passing through with a damp one, but no pedicure is complete without some rich lotion. This lotion is specialized for dry skin. It's really thick and nourishing. Now back to her toenails. Before we start our color today, I'm going over her toenails in this light base. You can never go wrong with a red pedicure, so today we've chosen this beautiful scarlet. I'm applying all of these coatings in a thin layer. Her toenails look amazing and her heels are super soft and clean now. The small cracks that are still there need to heal up, but will be completely gone by her next pedicure. If you liked this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and until next time.